actions against the gun industry, Governor Newsom signed legislation into law that would allow people to sue gun makers and distributors to hold them responsible for gun violence. He signed the bill after the Supreme Court decided not to block a similar law in Texas. That law allows private citizens to sue people who provide or assist in abortions. Now, the law here in California creates a legal standard to allow residents, the state's attorney general, and local governments to sue the gun industry in civil court. KCRE3's Michelle Bandor looked into this new law and the challenges it could face in court. Michelle. Well, Golston, the uh, lawmakers say because of that Supreme Court ruling in the Texas case, they believe that there is solid legal ground for any lawsuits in California courtrooms. Uh, there's going to be shotguns for you know, hunting our home defense. At everybody. last stand readiness and tactical in South Sacramento. These are all California compliant. Owner course. Drew Steptoe says uh, another gun course. law and more lawsuits um, won't stop the mass uh, shootings. It doesn't really help us, it helps the bad person. Uh, so it just further gives them power. So absolutely not, we don't feel safe. This bill means that the power is going back in the hands of Californians. Uh, Californians who live in fear of gun violence, they live in fear of sending their kids to school, fear about going to work, or fear about just going to a store. Assemblyman and Phil Ting authored the bill that Governor Gavin Newsom signed into law Tuesday. It allows gun victims to sue the weapon makers and sellers. You can now go to court and hold the makers of these deadly weapons accountable. Ting says despite the federal law protecting gun dealers from civil lawsuits, the California law will stand up in court. We believe that specifically what federal law allowed was allowed that states would be able to delineate how they would hold this industry accountable after the federal government gave them a complete blanket shield. Unquestionably, this law is pushing the envelope on lawful regulation by a state. Professor Not Leslie Jacobs with the McGeorge do. School of Law says there will most likely be challenges after the first lawsuit is filed. Gun manufacturers and sellers can be held liable if they are in fact violating um, federal or state law. And so that provides an opening for states to make restrictions or new rules, but it's unclear enough there will be court challenges. So if you are a victim of gun violence and want to file a lawsuit, you do not need to hire your own lawyer. The law says the attorney general can do that as well as local prosecutors on your behalf. Reporting live at the Capitol, Michelle Bandor, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, we'll follow this as uh, it may play out in the court.